Hey gang, Richard Weber here, and in today's video, what I want to do is uh, give you a hand with logging in, meaning if you are having any problem logging in, um, you really need to watch this entire video so that you can understand the common login problems that people have. Because in all my years of doing this stuff and owning membership sites and owning leased ad space, um, one of the things that people do all the time is they do not write down their login information. They always rely on their computers to remember it. And sometimes computer software that's supposed to remember your password can mess it up. You know, technology has glitches. So you really want to write down your username and password for anything you join or use online. I have a master password book that my book is dedicated to my passwords because what you really want to do is type them all in. Um, if anybody was ever to use some kind of uh, malware on your computer or virus, whatever, they could actually track your logins through automated things that remember your login for you. So I actually now type in every one of my passwords and type in my username manually. And I never have any problems logging into any site. And I'm going to show you the common errors that people make when they try and log in. Number one, a lot of people copy and paste their, their password and username. And I want to show you something. Most of the forms online now, like login forms, like uh, autoresponder forms, Anything where you're inputting information, they count blank space as a character. So if you go copy your password, um, if you look on my screen or my mouse cursor, as you can see I'm highlighting these words right this second. Okay, what I'm going to do is show you that people sometimes accidentally copy an extra space. In most forms nowadays, count that as a character. So like, let's say I want to copy the word get right here. Now, if I copy past it just a little bit, if you're looking at it right now, you can see I copied an extra space. So that's going to count another character, and you're not going to be able to log in because it's going to be the wrong password or it's going to be the wrong username. You want to copy anytime you're copying something anymore because the way forms are getting for security reasons is you want to copy the exact word. You see now when I copy get, I can back it up, see there's with an extra space, there's not with an extra space. Now that would be the exact word. So remember that when you're copy and pasting your username and password, it has to be exact. It has to be um, our username and password are case sensitive. So if you have a capital letter in it, it must be used. So they need to be exact. So you want to type them in. So if I was going to log in, I would just start typing my username. And I would take my left arrow key, go over, and I can see there's no extra space there. I did not you know, type in or accidentally shift over and include an extra space. It's the same way for your password. Make sure you're writing down your username and password for anything that you join exactly what it is. Um, one of the other most common mistakes that people use or do is when they leave their browser window open, meaning they leave least ad space in their browser window for long extended periods of time. And then their session times out and what that means is your session, because there's been no activity, a program will log you out. And that will cause a glitch when trying to log in. If you leave it open on your screen and it timed you out, and you go back to that form and you try to log in again, you're not going to be able to log in most of the time. You're going to need to close your browser down like... I'm going to do right there because I had it open another thing, but you would need to go up in your browser and actually close your browser down. Once you do that, you would need to wait a little while in order to go back to least ad space and log in. 
Otherwise, you would need to clear your cache and cookies or simply restart your computer, then bring up least ad space and re-log in. So leaving your browser window open for extended periods of time with least ad space in it just sitting there may cause you login problems. Remember that. Remember that your username and password are case sensitive. Your username is whatever you chose. It's not an email address. And when you copy and paste, if you are, make sure you're not copy and pasting extra spaces. Because if you do that, it will not allow you to log in. That's why I suggest typing them in manually and making sure you, you write them down. And if you end up having to reset your password because you cannot remember it, make sure and write it down. Because our, our passwords are not, if I go to the join to log in, and if I was going to join here and I create a password, like I'll just put some name in here, Tom, Tommy, I'm just making up stuff here, uh, joy at gmail.com. I'm just putting stuff in here. I want to show you something. I got to type it in, joy at gmail.com, desired username, Bob. Now my password. You'll see that if I type in anything like luck, meaning a simple, simple password, luck, no capitals, no numbers, no characters, and then I try to register. Watch what happens. Your password does not meet minimum strength requirements. Passwords must be between 8 and 64 characters and must contain a letter, a number, and a special character. That means you need 8 total characters. There has to be at least one letter in it, one number in it, and one of these special characters, as you can read down here, passwords must be, be between 8 and 64 characters, contain a letter, a number, and a special character from the following list. These are the only special characters that we allow. So remember that when um, you've chosen your password and you have not remembered it, that it's not something simple like luck. It, it, it is at least eight characters, it has a letter and a number in it, and one of these special characters in your password, if you can't remember it. That's why a lot of times people have to go reset it then, because they don't remember it, because they never wrote it down. And that's, you know, the biggest thing to stopping the hurdle of logging in and having problems with it is always write down your information. I mean, if you're trying to make money online, this stuff should be important to you. Um, just like your, your bank account, you would not, um, you know, not save any information from your bank account to know where you bank at or what your account numbers or anything are. You would be saving that information to make sure you have it. It's the same thing when logging into a site when we're trying to make it secure for you. You have to treat this stuff like a priority. If I go back to the login screen, the other thing I want you to do is if you're having a problem with this recaptcha, do not check the box here yet until you put in, you type in, your username and password. Then come here and check the box. And you can't always rely on remember me, you know, like I said, computer memory, most people do not clear their cache and cookies ever. Most people hardly ever restart their computer. And there is thing called temporary memory that gets used up. And I myself have to eventually restart my computer because I'm constantly working online and things start to not work so well, you know, with your computer. It's it, because it has to be cleaned occasionally and cleared. And that's what restarting it does and closing out your browser window. So it's not always trying to remember all these different sessions at one time. And that's what the, some of the biggest problem is with logging in is people just leave everything wide open on their computer. You're also inviting 
hackers into your personal data by leaving everything open all the time and logged in. That's why things have sessions and close out. So I want you to understand that. And then, so you check the box and then you just click on log in. And you wait for the timer to watch the login ad. If you're interested, of course, you can put, put your information and then you just proceed to lease that space with this green button up here. And it will bring you to your dashboard. So if you ever have problems with logging in, remember this video. Uh, please watch it all the way through. You know, I know we're at the end and you're, you're, you're hearing me now, but if you ever have a problem again in the future, watch it all the way through because we're probably going to cover something that you may be doing wrong. And then in one of the next videos, I'm also going to do a video on resetting your password. Other than that, my friends, I hope you have a great day. We will see you on another video. Talk to you soon.